YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. My name's Dan, this is Neo Mustangs, and this is my Fox Body Mustang channel. If you guys are interested in seeing how I tune my cars, then why don't you stick around some basic information on how I've been successful with my tunes. Let's get into it. Dead cold start, 35 degrees. Does it run? Hell yeah. Day 9 L work? Binary editor work? Hell yeah it does. If you got an opportunity to go to a tuner or get with a reputable tuner that knows how to tune binary editor before you spend thousands of dollars on somebody that's not reputable, then end up not being able to run with shit anyway. So, so in, in recent conversations that have came up has been the discussion in the topic of tuning. Now, I have a Terminator X in a box that I still have sealed in a box. I've used all the systems, Micro Squirt. I've used the Anderson PMS from years ago. But the software that I've used the most, and I still use to date, is the binary editor and the Motes Quarter Horse. Now you're probably wondering, well, what's the Motes Quarter Horse? What is that? What is that? The guy I tuned with, the mad scientist over at the uh, dino shop, so he's been in it almost 20 years, and he's learned, learned a lot, tuned a lot of Fox bodies to just perfection. Now let me go in here and show you. Again, guys, this is basic intro now naturally i have my a9l sitting here on the ground you guys have seen my fox body on the channel full weight full interior makes pretty good horsepower i enjoy it i drive it matter of fact i put 300 miles on it at foxtoberfest how this actually works is the a9l you can see is still the factory harnesses here the a9l is no longer in my kick pin i, I use this little priority box to kind of protect it a little bit so when people get in my cars but on your a9l and a9p is, is a j port you have to actually open up your casing here and modify it in order to accept a chip now there are different types of chips this happens to be a modes quarter horse chip this is a rewritable chip that i can write via my laptop we'll get into that let's keep going in this j port here you can pull this chip in and out. Obviously it has a USB cord here that allows me to connect into my laptop. Matter of fact, here's the extension cable that actually makes that work. So I plug this in here and it, voila, plugs into my laptop. Easy peasy, right? This chip goes into the back of your A9L and you can take it in and out, no problem. It's got a little battery on it too, so you gotta be careful because your tune will die when this battery dies, but that's, very uncommon. See, black turbo tune. This is my quota horse, and this is what quota horses look like. They're long and they're like an L. When you modify your case, you have to lay down these two capacitors in here. And you can see in there, that's not the original capacitor. That's not blue. I actually change all mine when I rebuild my A9Ls. So you say to yourself, well, what would happen if I just left the chip out? Well, the car wouldn't run. I have a pretty extreme little build in here, 363 stroker with a big turbo and 160 pound injectors. Matter of fact, I fire that thing up and those injectors will probably flood my motor. But what this little chip does is it allows me to carry a custom tune. Matter of fact, it has multiple slots like slot zero, slot one, slot two, slot three to hold different tunes, but I only really stick to one. So with a lot of dielectric grease and some care, I make sure that my chip is inserted in here which is you know i could have done better with the the back of the a9l case i get it but that's okay and the one thing when you're inserting your chip is you don't want to have your key on see it goes in there nice nice and easy i take the cord and i put it back in my box you could always install it back in the kick panel that would be the right thing to do but i have not yet because i'm always messing with it so now that you can see what i've done Moats Quarter Horse runs off of Binary Editor. Binary Editor is a software you can download onto your laptop and change values in the laptop. In order to you for you to be able to write and rewrite your, your tunes, you gotta carry a license. And a Quarter Horse chip will run you about 250 bucks. An actual license to actually use it is another 100. And what I mean by licensing is they send you this little dongle, see here? It's a little USB thing. And basically, when you fire or open Binary Editor, it's gonna look for this license in the USB ports. You cannot run the program without having a license. So naturally, being able to rewrite or write or tune or change something just uh, can't happen like that. But that's okay. That's not for everyone. One of the advantages of Quota Horse, though, about you can send a data log to your tuner and he can actually look in your tune and he can actually see, well, 
you know, this is messed up or that's messed up or change your values just by you driving the car and data logging it on the system. Now, let me show you a couple of the other things that can happen via quarter horse. He plugs this into his laptop. He brings up his binary editor. He actually tunes the car on the quarter horse chip in the computer, A9L, A9P, and then he'll turn and he'll burn it, which is basically what you see here. Now you just seen a moment ago, I had this attached to it. We'll talk about this in a second, but this is your basic four bank eliminator chip. Now this carries four tunes as well. You can actually switch from one tune to the other on this cable. Again, guys, this is very basic intro to what we're talking about with tuning and what what is quarter horse how's it work and this is what it kind of looks like so we would tune on the quarter horse we would take the file and save it on our laptop using our license and then we would turn around and we would burn it via a program on a chip using a burner and then we would sell you the chip single chip just like this you would put it into the computer and voila, your car runs on the tune that we just saved from Quarter Horse. Same exact tune, no matter what chip you're running. And there's other softwares that actually run the, with the Quarter Horse as well, but that's just, Binary Editor is just the one that we use the most of. I mean, is there other chips that you can use? Is there other software? Yeah, Terminator X, user-friendly. If you don't have access to Binary Editor or having a tuner tune your car or, or, or data log your car or, or do any sort of Quarter Horse or anything, guys well then terminator x may be what you need but honestly if you're within an eight hour distance from any tuner that's reputable that knows the e4 programs as well as we do up here it's worth the trip we've been doing it for a long time we could probably get your car spot on and even if it's wrong we could probably help you try to fix it before you leave <laughs> so is it worth the trip to get that done absolutely i've been with the white car for years i've been in the nines with this car on an a9l i get it it's 30 years old, but it still works. There's a reason why people still tune with it. So the last part of this video, I'm gonna show you that, uh, show you what the binary editor actually looks like on my laptop here. Um, again, we plug the extension cord, uh, USB, okay, for, from the A9L, which is on the chip itself plugged into the A9L. So I'm gonna plug my license in. hear it it'll connect to it I hit okay binary loads I'm gonna go ahead and connect back to binary editor I'll let you guys see what it looks like and I'm gonna plug my data my dash my car see that this is binary editor see my O2s are working my TPS everything's working pretty good Engine's 166 degrees, 164 degrees. Guys, this is just your basic, you know, instruction on what binary looks like. Now you can go in and change files, and 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 whatnot. You can, um, you know, you can you can load strategy files. You can open different files here. I wanted to show you a basic data log, and you can set this dashboard up any way you want. The car runs great. Even with 160 pound injectors. You know, look. Two step. Runs like a clock. Drove it 300 miles down at uh, Fox Toberfest. Not one hiccup, not one problem. So, does binary editor work? Does A9L work? Does factory harnesses work? Hell yeah, they do. Stuff. Guys, if, if that's. If you don't have access to a tuner, I get the Terminator X. If your wiring's all jacked up, you're doing a big project, it's probably not a bad idea. If you're lightly modifying your Fox body and you're out there hammering on it like I do, you know, go find you a good tuner on your factory wiring harness and your A9L and the shit will still work. But anyways. All right guys, so that's about all I have for you for this video. So I hope I give you, shed some light on the intro to, you know, what binary editor and tuning and what's made me successful over the years, you know. Simple laptop, a little bit of software, and you could be on your way to tuning your own car. So there's a lot of support and software out there, free value files, e tuning um, all over the Google. I mean, this stuff isn't new, it's old, most of it's free. Go check it out. It's something to think about if you're honestly thinking about wanting to get something tuned. Outside of that, try to look for a good reputable tuner. 
he should make your car run good. But guys, if you enjoyed my video, make sure you hit that like and subscribe below. I appreciate everybody for all the watch time and all the support they've done for me. Uh, you know, I'm overwhelmed by it. So uh, if you're interested in the uh, channel membership, there is perks for the members in the channel. It's the join button below. So check that out and support the channel. I appreciate everybody. See you soon in the next video.